The right to vote. Good evening. Bonsoir. May I say you're looking lovely today? Merci. Adio. Bonsoir, monsieur. Evening, you're walking sir. away from history, you fools! Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? But somehow, I am not free to vote? Who says that? Look me in the eye and tell me I am not the equal of any man you ever met. Have a nice evening. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> you think you're more intelligent than us? Because you keep us in gilded cages? My God, look at you fools. Please, I, I don't want any trouble. So. Move! Hey, hide your head, man. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute. I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Hey, folks. Evening to you. Well, please, take a seat. All right, you're ready to go. Thank you very much, friend. you get when you cross me?
Mister. Hello, sir. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told hey, him. Can I, I say, get a drink the here? That's the of the for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, no, over here. that's why we love it. Born and raised. Ooh. Well, I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No. Leave it. Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big? Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, you, you be careful now. Immigrant, they're not to be trusted. I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte, Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him, but it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, my bread. Here. Come on. This way. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleek. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look, steeples. Hey, hey, ha. you little pair of shits. Get going. He's coming. You give that back!
bastard! I was just playing! Give me my things back. Get off me, mister! I'm a good boy! I wash! Give me my things. Here! Bronte? At home? Where? Uh, big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> Way east to land we know, and far from real open country. Buenos días. Morning, dear. Hey, move it! Hey, hold on. Why don't you just stow that gun, huh? Why are you doing it? Please, back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius, so we shove the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you, some kind of uh, European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. <laughs> toy maker. Hello. Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes. You meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Enchanté! <laughs> uh, hello! <laughs> hello, sir! <laughs> okay. Uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. Uh, a demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. <laughs> You, you are old. Oh. But, here, take this, and this, and uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Uh, yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bottom. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on both to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Carefully. 
You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Lusitana. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships, and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. Hey! It's doing what I'm telling you. Of course it is doing. Now tell it to do closer to battleship and shoot with torpedo. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph. No pulley system underwater. Only waves. In the this is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunley. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life. Not death. The transmigration of the soul. I make lifeless metal breathe like man. Well, I'm not sure about that. Much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. Hey, that one's gone too. You see what stupid man has? Getting the mastery of this. Show them one more to prove. To the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything, was proven here. <laughs> Let me just... This is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now, the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of Pong, still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, he'll attempt to, at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart Pong. The steam train, the telegraph machine, the motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No, just rays in the air. Like the voice of God. And funding from us? And funding from you, of course. But what a thing to fund. What an opportunity. Noise. The who rules the seas. Very good, very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof, undeniably foolproof. 
But you are not fools. <laughs> Any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. <laughs> it's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab, back at Dover Hill. <laughs> that will astound all of you. <laughs> Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <clears throat> I hope you will forgive my European course. In the pumpkin. This way. Come on. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just these some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Is this the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take 
his son. We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we... We most surely were ignorant of. You, you, you twist words. You lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> Not the barest woman in front. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Come on, then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money... This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Sooner we get this done, sooner we get Jack back. Keep it down. 
Don't want him to bolt on us. with me. 